In the A320 family, manual roll and pitch are controlled by the side sticks. They are spring-loaded to neutral and receive no feedback from the flight controls. Movement of one side stick will not cause movement of the other. In this case, as the left side stick is moved, the right remains in the neutral position. All side stick commands are processed through the flight control computers before being sent to the control surfaces. You can see that as one side stick is pushed forward, the elevators move down in response. If both side sticks are operated at the same time, their deflections are algebraically added. All side stick commands are processed through the flight control computers before being sent to the control surfaces. You can see that as one side stick is pushed forward, the elevators move down in response. If both side sticks are operated at the same time, their deflections are algebraically added together. In this example, as the side sticks are moved in opposite directions, the elevators remain in the neutral position. When both side sticks are moved in the same way, the total demand is never more than full deflection on only one side stick. Here, as both side sticks are moved forward, the elevators achieve normal full down deflection, but no more. When either autopilot is engaged, both side sticks lock into their neutral position. Notice that if a pilot applies sufficient force, the side sticks become free and the autopilot disengages with audio and visual warnings. The autopilot has disengaged. The associated audio and visual warnings will continue until cancelled by the crew. As you will perform this many times in your simulator sessions, we will now continue with the autopilot disconnect and takeover push button. The autopilot has been re-engaged for you. Each side stick is fitted with a red autopilot disconnect and side stick takeover push button. By pressing it, a pilot disconnects the autopilot. Notice on the FCU that the autopilot has disconnected. The associated audio and visual warnings can be cancelled by pressing the autopilot disconnect push button a second time or will stop automatically after a few seconds. A side stick priority logic is also available. Let's study it in more detail. By pressing and holding a takeover push button, a pilot can deactivate the opposite side stick. Audio and visual indications are provided to identify which pilot has control of the aircraft. You are sitting on the left. Take priority. Priority left. You heard the audio warning. Notice there is also a red side stick priority arrow in front of the first officer indicating that his side stick is inoperative. The arrow points left showing that the captain has control. If the first officer had taken over the message would have been priority right and the red arrow in front of the captain would have illuminated. To see what happens when the deactivated side stick is moved, a green light illuminates in front of the pilot who is in control of the aircraft. Here, the captain. As soon as the deactivated side stick is returned to neutral, the green light extinguishes. If both pilots press their takeover push button, the last one 
gets the priority. If it is necessary to deactivate the opposite side stick permanently, press and hold the takeover push button for at least 40 seconds. To reactivate a permanently deactivated side stick, either pilot has to press his takeover push button momentarily. Notice that both side stick priority lights are extinguished. Dual input. You heard the audio warning and saw both green side stick priority lights flash, indicating a simultaneous control input. Simultaneous control inputs are never recommended. If the pilot non-flying must make a control input, he must press his takeover push button.